David Blaine can throw a car and it'd be on the other side of this mirror. I mean, on this window. And you look at and you see most of the uh, brothers and sisters, they start running. Yeah, they step yeah. off. Yeah. You know, too. But, but everybody else will kind of stand up and be made. Black people usually run off because we know something wicked about this. That ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> That's why I always say, don't be like the heathen. Do not be dismayed. So you want to say something about the... Uh, now, when that temple is being rebuilt, that's going to be a, a, a crucial sign right there. Right. right. Because then what they're going to do, the one who Satan going to give his power to, right. he's going to sit up in that temple and claim that he's the most high. The Antichrist. The Antichrist. You're going to have three and a half years of Antichrist rule. Not seven, right. but it's three and a half. But when we right. see a temple being built, whatever we tripping off for, <laughs> y'all, we got to get it together. Because that's the time. Now, there's a doctrine out here called preterism. That teaches that we're in the kingdom already. The Israelite group teaching. They're saying we're in the kingdom age right now. They don't need to look for tribulation. Because they said Nero Caesar was the Antichrist. But Nero never set foot in Jerusalem, in the temple of Jerusalem. He sent his boy, Vaspian. Nor did he ever proclaim himself God. Never. So that eliminates that doctrine right there. Y'all got to be careful with that. They're saying we're in the kingdom age. But ain't no sickness and death in the kingdom age. Off the lane would be out of business. If we were in the kingdom age. You wouldn't be doing like that. No, 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 no. Right there. Right, right there. <laughs> ain't no sickness and pain in the kingdom. So y'all have to be careful. There's a lot of itchy ear doctrine out here, and especially coming from they of the circumcision or Israelite nation, circumcised by the word of God. It's coming from our people, y'all. That's teaching these mad doctrines. Let's get more. Let's keep getting Verse more. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were. As the days of who? As the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man. Who would tip off right here? It says gonna be just like the days of Noah were. So we want to hold her and go to the days of Noah. Let's hit Genesis 6. Christ tells us where he wants us to go in his word. Why? Because the volume of the book is written of Christ. All of it. From, Revela from Genesis to Revelation. He says, I'm written in every verse, every passage from Genesis to Revelation is about me. Christ. So we have to clearly understand that when he says, I want you to go back. I dealt with this back in the days of Noah. I'm going to tell you it's going to be just like that. Just like I ended the world then, I'm going to end it this way but with fire. But the same thing's going to be happening. Let's see what was happening. Well, y'all, we got a good, good 40 minutes, y'all. We got to hit this hard. We got a few scripts we want to hit on. Y'all, so we want to hit, get straight in. Give me a book. We got to go back. Yes. Genesis 6 and 1. <clears throat> and we, we, we hold it on this Matthew uh, 24. 24 and, and uh, read, read 37, read 38 too, read 38 too. Matthew 24, verse 38. Because I, I just want to read enough of it so when we go back, y'all know what to say. Read that again, read a little bit more than 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that 